Hey there, fragrance lovers. Are you tired of spending money on the fortune of on designers? Niche fragrances only to find out that they don't last as long or smell as good as you had hoped? Well, you're in luck today. In today's video, we're going to talk about dual clone fragrances that not only smell just as good, but even better. And some of them even perform better. So if you're ready to save some of this money and smell amazing, keep watching. First up, we have Harmony, which is a clone of Unwatch Overture Man. Now, Harmony is described as a unisex fragrance that combines the warm, sweet notes of vanilla, caramel, with the fresh citrus note of bergamot, lemon. It also features woody, spicy, floral undertones that create like a complex, harmonious scent. Well, to me, this is one of those fragrances Dua got wrong. It's my least favorite, and all I'm getting is cigarette smoke. I'm getting some resins. I mean, this is not good at all. If you want a better clone of Unmarked, get Killer Oud Overdose. You get more than vanilla notes. You get more of the caramel note. So to me, Killer Oud is a better alternative to Overture Man. This right here, to me, is trash. Next up, we have Caribbean Waters. Caribbean Waters is a unisex fragrance that is it's inspired by the refreshing and tropical scent of the Caribbean Sea. Now, the fragrance opened up with top notes of zesty lemon with some juicy lime and some mandarin orange which give it like a fresh and citrusy quality. These are complemented by middle notes of sea salt, oceanic water, and marine notes which add a watery and, and briny aspect to the scent. Now, the base of the Caribbean waters include driftwood, it includes musk, amber which provide like a warm and woody foundation that anchors the fragrance. Now the overall effect is refreshing, it's light and aquatic. It evokes feelings of like being on a tropical ocean breeze. Now in terms of longevity, Caribbean waters is known for its long lasting and moderate projection. It is a versatile scent that can be worn in any season, but it is particularly well suited for like warmer weathers, outdoor occasions. Now when you first spray this, you're gonna get a heavy blast of lime, you're gonna get some mandarin, you get that coconut. Now what makes this better than the original, the performance, you're gonna get a, at least a good eight to 10 hours. It's gonna project off you, the performance is great. What they done is they made like a summer beachy vibe. They made it thick and heavy, so it'll be worn like in night times, fall, winters. So they made the performance on this great and they made the occasions even better. Next up, we have D7. Now D7 is a fragrance by a duo that is classified as woody, a spicy scent. It's a unisex fragrance that is known for like sophisticated and luxurious qualities. Now the top notes on D7 includes bergamot, lemon, and cardamom, which is provided fresh and zesty introduction. Now the heart of the fragrance features warm and spicy notes of cinnamon, clove. You get some ginger, which add depth and complexity to the scent. Now the base notes of D7, it's a rich and woody fragrance that featuring agarwood, which is oud, sandalwood, and cedar. These notes provide a long lasting and aromatic finish that lingers on the air. Overall, D7, I mean, it's a complex, multifaceted fragrance that is perfect for those who appreciate a scent that is both warm, spicy, and the longevity makes it suitable for both like daytime, evening wear. It has woody and spicy qualities. D7 is a, a unisex fragrance that features a blend of fresh, spicy, and woody notes, sophisticated scent, rich, and complex aroma. Now this is very close to original. Only difference is the original, you get a lot of that like cherry coke vibe, but this is, I'm not saying it's better than the original, but the performance on it is better. Four of is a good strong projection. Next up we have Pur Home, which is a clone of Bi. Pur Home is a fragrance that is designed especially for men. It is fresh. It's a modern scent that features a blend of woody, spicy, it has some citrusy notes. The fragrance opens up with like top notes of grapefruit, bergamot. You get some lemons, which provide a bright and zesty introduction. Then in the heart, you get notes of black pepper, pink pepper. You get some lavender, which makes it manly and adds some spice and floral quality to the scent. 
Now the base on per arm, it, it includes amber, you get some vetiver, cedar, which provides a warm and woody foundation that lingers on the skin. The combination of these notes create a sophisticated masculine fragrance that is both versatile, it's long lasting. It's probably gonna give you more performance than the original, but the fragrance is suitable for a range of occasions from casual, daytime wear to formal evening events. Longevity that makes a great choice for those who want to scent that lasts all day. It's not gonna be overpowering. When you first apply this, you get a heavy blast of lavender. You get some citruses, some fruity notes, and it's very creamy with some sandalwood. You get some musk as it dries down in the base. Now what set this apart from the original is that I think you get better performance off of this. Next up, we have my second favorite from the group, and that is Savage Elixir. And I think you know what fragrance that this cloning. Savage Elixir is like a fragrance that's classified as woody, aromatic scent. It's inspired by the popular men fragrance, Savage Elixir, if you know some of you didn't know, but with a unique twist that sets it apart. Now the top notes of Savage Elixir, it includes bergamot, you get some of that grapefruit that make it bright, pink pepper, which provides us fresh and zesty introduction. Now the heart of the fragrance, it features some floral and spicy notes of lavender, geranium, which add depth and complexity to the scent. The base notes, you're gonna get like a rich, woody fragrance featuring like ambergris, you're gonna get some patchouli, you're gonna get some cedar that makes it sharp. Now these notes to me, they provide like a long lasting aromatic finish it lingers on the skin and it creates a masculine, sophisticated impression. Overall, Savage Elixir is like a complex and well-balanced fragrance. Fresh, woody, and longevity make it suitable for both daytime, evening wear, and it's masculine, it's sophisticated. Qualities of it, I mean, you're gonna make some impression. You're gonna get compliments on it. It's a woody aromatic fragrance, a high quality fragrance with a fresh, sophisticated aroma. Now, when you first spray this, you're gonna get a lot of that cinnamon. You're gonna get that nutmeg, along with that lavender. Now, what they did to make this better, they made it very mass appealing. You almost get like a more of a blue type fragrance to it, but it lasts long. Now, compliments, you will get a bunch of compliments wearing Savage Elixir. Last but not least, we have Magnetic. Now, this is a tone of a discontinued fragrance, which is Magnetism. And once that was a favorite of mine. Now Magnetic is a unisex fragrance. It's created that is classified as Oriental Floral Scent. Now Magnetic includes bergamot. You're gonna get some black currant. You're gonna get some pink pepper, which provides a bright and fruity introduction. The heart of the fragrance features floral notes of jasmine, orange blossom, and rose, which adds a romantic and feminine touch to the scent. Now in the base of Magnetic, it's warm, it's inviting, featuring notes of vanilla, musk, you're gonna get some amber. Now these notes provide a long lasting and aromatic finish, it's a complex longevity makes it suitable for both daytime and evening wear. Now, reason I say this is better, you're gonna get all the notes that the original gave you, but what makes this better is that the performance, I mean, man, you're gonna get great performance on this beast mode performer. And I mean, it's so close to the original, but like I said, they made this with more performance. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna know more about more clones, over 50 plus clones, hit this playlist right here. Take care of yourself. See you soon, peace.